Today here at our studios in Toronto, we have the pleasure of a chat with Ontario Minister of Education, Stephen Lecce. Buona giornata. <laughs> Buona giornata. Thank you for being with us. So, Minister, the first question, how is the state of our education system? Things are on the right track in Ontario. The kids are in school. They've been there now for a full month. Uh, and things are positive. We just got the new results, the EQAO results, the results on how the kids are doing in reading, writing and math. And what it demonstrates is that Ontario's plan is working. We are seeing an improvement in every area in grade three, six and nine. Uh, kids are doing better because they're in school full time, no disruption. So I'm committed to making sure these children stay in school Without disruption, right to June, I'm committed to making sure that we go back to basics. This back to basics, yes. can, can, can you elaborate a little bit more? What this means is we need kids and we need schools to focus more on reading, writing and math. So Ontario launched a new strategy to lift the skills of young people so that when they graduate, when your grandchildren and children graduate from Ontario schools, they graduate with skills that can help get them a good paying job, help them own a home and live a life of purpose in this country. And so we are strengthening, improving reading and writing by introducing a new language curriculum. What does that mean? Well, this September, your children are learning for the first time in a long time, cursive writing. You know how to write cursive, like many of our parents and grandparents. Well, the former government, they took that out. I'm putting it back in. We're hiring 2,000 more teachers. And what we're seeing as school boards is focus on academics, focus on lifting performance, focus on reading, writing, and math, and what we call STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. If we want your kids, your grandchildren to succeed in this country, we need them to master the foundations. Can you tell us something about the um, high school system? Yeah, you know, just last week we announced a new deal for the high school children, uh, for kids in a public high school. Uh, we signed a deal. We confirmed, ratified a new deal with the union that's going to keep kids in school for the next three years. So that means for if you have a child in a public high school that started grade nine last year, that means they're going to graduate in three years without the threat of a strike. That is an amazing achievement. Every child deserves that. And so that's why I immediately, after signing that deal, said to the union, the Catholic union and the French union and the elementary public union, get to the table, sign a deal so that we can provide the same predictability, the same certainty, the same confidence to these kids in public high school to all the others. So I believe that parents have to have a greater role in the life of their children. I believe strongly parents' rights, the right to raise their kid, to love their kid according to their values. Uh, I'm proud of our country uh, and I want to believe that parents want to be more involved in their children's lives. And so myself and Premier Doug Ford have made it clear we will stand up so that parents are involved in their children's lives and we'll stand up to respect um, the, the fact that families raise their children according to their own values, their own faith, uh, their own convictions. And so I want every child to feel safe, feel respected, feel loved. And I want to make sure that moms and dads, parents in this province know that this government stands for them uh, and will always ensure and respect their voices in Ontario's education system. Thank you, Minister Lecce. Thank you. It's a great honor to be here. Oh.